I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Where to now? Left across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. Let him learn to stand up for himself to survive in the metro. Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. said you'll be fine are you trying to kill me with worry what if next time you don't return from the surface there's no one out there Artyom no one to find no one to talk to if there was don't you think they'd be here already we've talked about this again and again you have to accept it there's only us Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom. Just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> and why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. 
Huh. How long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there on the station? In the old metro, who will be left here in 10 years? I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for us, no! No suture threat. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! Are you free? Hey, gentlemen, right. give way! She will be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which, and how you are you using the hospital, guys, huh? You just stop crowding him! <sighs> Brother! Previat, <laughs> Artyom! Alright, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> So I brought something, and here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! And? More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our fill. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? All the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here.
hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. So, the pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip the Moscow of yours anyways. Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Fool, you couldn't live. 
Let's go. noise. Attention! The turntable is switching off. If you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand. Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? Who watchman? A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. 
I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope the noise. Well done. Oh, 
They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on Who are you? I'm trying to follow you here, man. The train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to it. I'll get you out of here. So I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Hey. Hey. Artun, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. What the hell is this? <sighs> Gotta tell me. Group A, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. <laughs> Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Group D, 
D, redeploy to the generator room. Aha, you can sneak ahead. You don't need to play heroes for a change. Let's wait till they walk off. What's the matter with you today? Why do you even want to do that now? Finally get a chance to relax like this. All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there Come and on, switch Jim. the turntable mechanism. together.
two. And as for the engineer... Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't the you right dare right? give me a limp, soldier! Here. The Colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Honor! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What oh, the no. hell? Artur! What are you doing here? Talk about surprise. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line down. Oh, shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let them. No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what in the ravine, there about, are sir? people from other cities, dead, all of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major! My people are in no way related to it's not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Not. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not 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 who. Who. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! Retirement with a life, you damn cripple! Plans! Treason! 
We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. <laughs> 